for the value added tax. So let's get to know more about the value added tax or VAT. The topics to be discussed are the following. Definition, who are required to file, the difference between output and input VAT, its sample computation, and the forms to be used and its payment. So the definition of the value added tax. So it is an indirect tax and the amount of tax may be shifted and passed to the buyer from the sale of goods, properties, and services in the Philippines and on the importation of goods into the Philippines. Who are required to file VAT returns? So first, any person or entity who in the course of his trade or business sells, barters, exchanges, leases goods or properties, and renders services subject to VAT if the aggregate amount of actual gross sales or receipts exceed 3 million pesos. So second, are the person required to register as VAT taxpayer but failed to register? Third, any person, whether or not made in the course of his trade or business, imports goods. So the difference of output and input VAT. So output VAT, it is the 12% VAT or pass on to the consumer who buys goods, services, or properties from the VAT registered taxpayers. While input VAT, it is the 12% VAT you pay in buying VATable services or properties from VAT registered taxpayers. So there are three types of sale. The regular sale which is 12%, the zero rated sales which is 0% and the exempt sales which is exempt. So let's have an illustrative case for the regular sale. For example, B company sold 112,000 pesos inclusive of VAT to C company, both are VAT registered. B company's purchases for the quarter is 78,400 pesos, VAT inclusive. So to compute for the VAT payable, output VAT which is 112,000 divided 1.12 times 12% to get the output VAT. So the output VAT is 12,000. While the input VAT, so 78,400 divided by 1.12 times 12% 12 is equals to 8,400. So the VAT payable is 3,600. So the transaction subject to the zero rated sale. Processing, manufacture, or repacking goods for other persons doing business outside the Philippines, which goods are subsequently exported, where the services are paid for in, in acceptable foreign currency and accounted for in accordance with the rules and regulations of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Services other than those mentioned in the preceding paragraph rendered to a person engaged in business conducted outside the Philippines or to a non-resident person not engaged in the business who is outside the Philippines when the services are performed, the consideration for which is paid for in acceptable foreign currency and accounted for in accordance with the rules and regulations of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Services rendered to persons or entities whose exemption under special laws or international agreements to which the Philippines is a signatory effectively subjects the supply of such services to 0% rate. Services rendered to persons engaged in international shipping or international air transport operations including leases of properties for use thereof provided that these services shall be exclusively for international shipping or air transport operations. Services performed by subcontractors or contractors in processing, converting, or manufacturing goods for an enterprise whose export sales exceed 70% of the total annual production. The transport of passengers and cargo by the domestic air or sea vessels from the Philippines to a foreign country. Sale of power or fuel generated through renewable sources of energy, such as but not limited to biomass, solar, wind hydropower, geothermal, ocean energy, and other emerging energy sources using technologies such as fuel cells and hydrogen fuels. Example for the zero rated sale. So B Company, a VAT registered entity, sold 100,000. The sale is zero rated. B Company's purchases for the quarter is 78,400 pesos, VAT inclusive. So in zero rated sale, there would be no output VAT, but you can still claim for the input VAT 
from the related purchases. So to compute, output VAT is zero. Input VAT, so 78,400 divided by 1.12 times 12%, so 8,400. So the VAT payable is 8,400. For the exempt sale, exam transactions are enumerated under Section 109 of the Tax Code. Moreover, highlighted in the chain law are additional tax exempt transactions. Sale of gold to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, sale of drugs and medicines prescribed for diabetes, high cholesterol and hypertension, sale or lease of goods or properties, or the performance of services which the gross annual sales and or receipts do not exceed the amount of 3 million pesos. So now let's have an example for the exempt sale. So B Company, a VAT registered entity, sold 100,000 pesos. The sale is VAT exempt. So B Company's purchases for the quarter 78,400 pesos VAT inclusive. So to compute for the VAT payable, the difference between the VAT exempt and the zero rated sale is that we cannot claim input VAT for the related purchases to such sale. So there would be no creditable input VAT nor VAT payable. So the forms to be used for the filing of value-added tax are the following. 2550M for the monthly VAT return and 2550Q for the quarterly VAT return. So the deadline for the monthly VAT return is on the 20th day of the following month while the quarterly is on the 25th day of the following month. Along with these returns are the SLSP or the quarterly summary list of the sales and purchases which will be submitted on the 25th day of the end of the quarter. So the venue and the manner of payment. So the returns shall be filed and paid with any authorized agent bank within the revenue district office where the taxpayer is registered or required to register. In the absence of AAB, the return shall be filed and paid with the Revenue Collection Officer or the RCO. In case there is no payment to be made, the return shall be filed electronically through EBIR forms. So additional information, as to the issuance of receipt, make it sure that this basic information are present. The name of the seller, description of goods or properties or nature of service, unit cost, quantity, date of transaction, PIN of the buyer, address of the buyer, business style of the buyer, name of the buyer, statement that the seller is a VAT registered person followed by his TIN, business address of the seller, business style of the seller, purchase price plus the VAT provided that the amount of tax shall be shown as a separate item in the invoice or receipt. If the sale is exempt from VAT, the term VAT exempt sale shall be written or printed prominently on the invoice receipt. If the sale is subject to 0% VAT, the term zero rated sale shall be written or printed prominently on the invoice receipt. If the sale involves goods, properties, or services, some of which are subject to and some of which are zero rated or exempt from VAT, the breakdown of the sales price between its taxable, exempt, and zero-rated components and the calculation of the VAT on each portion of the sale shall be shown on the invoice or receipt. Authority to print receipt number at the lower left corner of the invoice or receipt. If you have questions, you may visit our office at 2nd floor at the home building, Osmania Street, the Gokdok, Tandag City, Surigao del Sur, or you may call us at 086-211-4195. Visit our website at www.bir.gov.ph or email us at rdo underscore 106 at bir.gov.ph. Thank you!